Hey guys, what's up? John from FlyMikeAlpha.com and today we're going to be looking at airplane takeoff distance graphs. So I know these are kind of complicated looking. It's pretty archaic, but it's something you do need to know flying some of these older airplanes and especially for your written exam, you need to know how to do these. So we're going to go ahead and explain this to you. I know it was pretty complicated to me at first when I started looking at these when I first started flying. However, I am going to over the next 120 seconds explain to you exactly how to use these charts and Less than two minutes from now, it's going to make perfect sense. All right, so there's always going to be some givens here. So we're always going to have to know our pressure altitude, our outside air temperature, the weight of the aircraft, the wind component, and the obstacle height. Those will all be given to you on the test, or you'll figure them out in real life. So... The next thing about these charts is we have these things called little reference lines and they kind of trend in these different curves and the purpose of these is for us to follow them when we're making our calculations. I'm going to explain that here in a sec. So if you happen to actually intersect one of these lines, you could follow it on up or follow it on down, but if you're in between them, you'll just follow the general trend. So if we come over here and intersect right here and we're going to 2600 pounds, we would follow the trend lines down to where 2600 pounds meet the roughly where that trend would be and then proceed straight across. So let's go ahead and work through an example here. Our example today is going to be that it's 20 degrees outside air temperature and we have a 4,000 foot pressure altitude. So we set the altimeter to 299 or 2 and we got 4,000 feet on it. So 20 degrees, we're going to come up to 4,000 pressure altitude and we hit that line and then move straight across. We intersect this next line here and we're going to follow the trend lines down to our weight. Our weight today is 2,400 pounds. So we're following those trend lines down to 2,400 pounds. Again, 20 degrees to 4,000 straight across. We hit just above this black reference line. We come down to 2,400, we'll be just above it. And then we move straight across from there. The next thing we're gonna take into account is our wind component. Our wind component today is a 10 knot headwind. And we can see that our headwind slopes down. So starting here where we came across, we're going to move to 10 knots following that reference line there. We intersect there, we move straight across, and then what kind of obstacle do we have? Well today we have a 25 foot obstacle, so we're going to follow these lines to 25 feet, then move straight across and read we need a thousand feet to take off and clear our obstacle. That's exactly how this chart works. Nothing more complicated to it. Just follow those lines. And remember, every time you intersect a point, then move straight across. Then follow them down, intersect your point, move straight across to the next reference line. Follow those lines down or up, move straight across. If you want a little bit more practice with this, check out our aircraft landing distance graph video that has a few more examples so you can practice this a little bit more. Hopefully that helps make sense of this chart, how you would actually use it in real life and especially on your written exam. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you give us a thumbs up on the video. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up with our latest episodes as they come out. Check out our Patreon page. We really appreciate all the support you guys give us on Patreon. It really helps us build our totally free online ground school at flyatmikealpha.com. And as always, guys, if you can't fly every day, then flyatmikealpha.com. We will see you all next time. <laughs>